Welcome to Third Bed Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you as we usher in another three-day race week. The Friday card's got eight of them for you. A couple of good ones, too. But Solid Maiden, Special Weight, and, of course, the Rainbow Six. It's just starting to grow again. Race number three kicks it off. A pool should be in the vicinity of $50,000. We'll send it upstairs to track announcer Pete Aiello for the course and weather conditions. Partly cloudy skies for racing today with temperatures in the upper 80s. The main track will start good. The Tapita track is always fast. <laughs> Racing at Goldstream to a level beginning. From the inside, Biotechnology gets the first call right alongside her. Burn the Breeze, forwardly positioned. Out in the center is the favorite Grand Birdie, Laveau between horses. Then overrun, the early trailer is thanked the Academy. In the run past the opening furlong, it's Biotechnology and Apprentice Gabriel Maldonado clear by two. Grand Birdie at the odds on choice moves into a clear second from Burn the Breeze, who's back to third. Laveau is outside of Overrun and thank the Academy's last. 22 and 3 for the opening quarter as they round the four turn. Creeping closer now is the favorite Grand Birdie. She's a length off Biotechnology, two back. Burn the Breeze given the green light. She's going to try to thread the needle. Here's Burn the Breeze boldly now with a rail run. They pass the 5 16th. Grand Birdie has the lead. Burn the Breeze going right after. These two have put on some speed. Well clear of the others. Laveau moves into third while wide. They went to half and 46 and 2, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's a confident Miguel Vasquez and Grand Birdie who turn for home on top. From the inside, Burn the Breeze is now stalled from her earlier bid. Well clear of Laveau, who's racing together with Thank the Academy, but at 4 to 5. Five Grand Birdie just bid this field a pleasant Friday good afternoon. It's Grand Birdie by five and still moving away. Grand Birdie in front. Burn the Breeze was second. Thank the Academy finished third. Laveau is fourth. Then overrun. 117 and three. And on the inside, stablemate Callihu. So the two first timers are fleet of footed. Callihu to the top. Dundee is away in second from Rigel, who comes away in third. Then Red Dog and Boy Oh Boy. Chrome Ghost is last. And the run to the half mile point. Callihu and Edgar Zayas. Clear length and a quarter. Dundee is second. Rigel is now third while trying to gain ground know, about exactly. four lengths off the speed. It's a gap of three more to Red Dog, then Boy Oh Boy and Chrome Ghost. 22 and 3 for the opening quarter, 5 sixteenths away. Callihu, a length and a quarter. Dundee is second. Rigel is third. Red Dog, knifing between horses for Camacho Jr., trying to hold down the rail as Boy, oh boy. Winding up from the back is Chrome Ghost. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Callihu turns for home on top. The stablemate Dundee still nipping at the heels from the back. Chrome Ghost, Red Dog, and Rigel. Boy, oh boy, up the rail. Eighth of a mile to go. Callihu, the target. Dundee tries to shift gears, and here's Rigel down the stand side. Up the inside, Red. Red Dog, Rigel closing good ground out in the center to take the lead. Rigel's in front when it matters, and Rigel wins. Boy, oh boy, second, third was Dundee, then Red Dog, 104 and three. Start for straight shot. Toretto's going to try to run with him. These two get acquainted. They work a length and a half in front of competitive Saint, who's ridden for some forward position. He lands third. Attentive is second last. The trailer is the North remembers. Up on the outside, it's Toretto trying to clear straight shot, who's under a strong hold. Competitive Saint watching the action unfold while angling to the two path for a clear shot. Gonzalez looks like he wants to go now on Competitive Saint. There he goes, three wide. Around the far turn they go. Three wide Competitive Saint with rail ground straight shot in between them, Toretto. They pass the 5 16 almost as one, five ahead of the North remembers, and attentive as last. 
Quarter of a mile left to go with valuable inside position. Straight shot up to take the lead. Competitive Saint moving to him on the outside. Toretto is now third with an eighth of a mile to go. Straight shot. He has the lead. Competitive Saint trying to work forward. It's still straight he shot the target. Win, on the outside, course. Competitive Saint with a 16th more. Straight shot. Competitive Saint surging to him. Here's Competitive Saint. I think so. Very good horse race, but Competitive Saint with momentum in the center. He was in a win photo with straight shot. 57 flat. Start for my great illusion who heads off for the early lead. Moving up on the outside, it's a hot one away with speed. Taken in hand is Magic Shadow. Don't be so grouchy toward the rail. Exclusive Dancer is three wide while second last. The early trailer is Urancio. In the run around the first turn, Jockey Miguel Vasquez and my great illusion clear by a length. It's a hot one is second. Don't be so grouchy is under a stronghold from Lionel Reyes. The favorite is third. Magic Shadow follows along in fourth under a nice hold. Up to the inside, Urancio, an exclusive dancer now last. 25 seconds for the opening quarter, less than six furlongs to run. My great illusion, the target hits a hot one in a flanking position second. Don't be so grouchy is at the rail with Magic Shadow in the two path, and Urancio, an exclusive dancer, is bustled along at the back of the field. They make their way to the half mile mark. The leader is still My Great Illusion, getting a soft half mile to work with. It's a hot one is second. From the outside, Magic Shadow now three wide with Don't Be So Grouchy alongside. Then Urancio, and the trailer is still exclusive dancer. 51-3 and three for a half mile. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Here's a serious move. It comes from Magic Shadow on the outside, trying to take on My Great Illusion with Don't Be So Grouchy still patiently handled toward the rail. Exclusive Dancer has made it up to fourth with a quarter of a mile left to go. They complete three quarters in 17-1. and one. Magic Shadow rouse forward on the outside of My Great Illusion. Off their heels. Don't Be So Grouchy. Loose and charging with fresh legs. Three sixteenths to go. Don't Be So Grouchy. Power forward to the lead. Magic Shadow still fighting for second with my great illusion. Exclusive Dancers fourth and running home a touch. They come to the wire. Don't be so grouchy is in front. Don't be so grouchy to win by seven in the end. Magic Shadow second, my great illusion third. Exclusive Dancer fourth in 145 and two. Colors comes out firing. Crystal Coast moves to second with La Russia. Chief led the scene is down toward the inside. This is it's out in the center. Then Lady Dominance and the trailer is Money Factor. They run around the first turn. Morning Colors clear by almost two. Crystal Coast is there second three across the course after that. She fled the scene. She's nearest the inside. This is it is three wide. La Russia between them. Off the speed Lady Dominance. The trailer Money Factor. Pretty reasonable early pace here. Jockey Edwin Gonzalez bidding for three on the card. He has morning colors clear by two. Crystal Coast is second on the outside. This is it is now third. La Russia races from fourth, then Lady Dominance. She fled the scene, gets shuffled a touch, and the trailer is Money Factor. 
24 and 4 for the opening quarter. They're less than five furlongs from the wire. Morning Colors has the lead by a length. Crystal yeah. Coast is second. This is it. On the outside under Jaramillo is now a three wide third. Arusia is next, then Lady Dominance, and she fled the scene. Money Factor, close enough if good enough. All to play for here through a 49 and 4 opening half mile. Wow. Around the far turn, Money Factor up to take over the lead. Morning Colors. All in while trying to fight right. back seconds. This Grandma, is it. Like now third. From fourth, it's La Russia, then Lady Dominance. The Held up in traffic. Right. She fled the scene with about seven lengths to raise. The trailer is money factor as they run past three quarters in 114 and one. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Plenty of hopes here. Crystal Coast made first run to take the lead. Far outside Lady Dominance from between horses. This is it. Widest of all, it's she fled the scene with a late say. Final eighth of a mile. They're swarming in. Down the center, Lady Dominance, and she fled the scene. Lady Dominance for a narrow lead. She fled the scene, surging to her. Lady Dominance has the lead. Lady Dominance brings the upset. She fled the scene with seconds. This is it, third, 142 and four. Horses, Esperone, ridden hard for the early lead and clears really easily. He's open two and a half in a hurry. Simsum is now split horses to take second, 16 cigarettes, third at the inside. Out in the center is Ketcha Tiger ahead of War Aguila, and the early trailer is the late running San Piridu. Half a mile from the judge, and Esperone has the lead for Edwin Gonzalez by two. Ketcha Tiger up on the outside alongside Simsum, who's toward the inside. 16 cigarettes is held up while racing in fourth, and it's back to War Aguila, and the trailer is San Piridu. Past the 5 16ths, 22 and 2 for the opening quarter. Esperone on top by two. Racing second, Simsum tries to angle to his flank. He's done that now. From the outside, it's Ketcha Tiger. 16 cigarettes down at the inside as they fire off the turn. Esperone has the lead by a length and a half. Simsum is still second, trying to bridge the gap. Back to third, Ketcha Tiger with an eighth of a mile to go. The leader is Esperone by a length and a half. Simsum ducks to the inside, down the center, and Ketcha Tiger close to home. It's still Esperone in front. Here's Ketcha Tiger. Simsum in tight toward the rail. Esperone wins. Esperon wins. I think Simsum is second from Ketcha Tiger, third in 105 and 2. beginning. From the outside, it's Wardley Manor who gets the first call. Grand Rock being sent along. In between them, Stealth 34's on the go. Ford Attitude's on the far outside, and Dream Night is off the rail. Back from there, it's Pacific Legend and Leah Party. The early trailers, the gray Danley. And they run to the half-mile point. The leader is Grand Rock taking on every step by Stealth 34, their heads apart. Wardley Manor is together with Ford Attitude, who's three wide, and at the rail, Dream Knight. Two back to an improving Pacific Legend. The two at the back are Leah Party and Danley. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. 
From the inside, it's Grand Rock. From the outside, Stealth 34, three wide. Ford Attitude with every opportunity from there. Getting ready to launch his bid as the favorite Dream Knight. He's fourth and angling. Two back to Pacific Legend with a quarter of a mile left to go. From between horses, Stealth 34 on the outside in Ford Attitude. Widest of all, it's Dream Knight. They're off the turn. They're in the stretch drive. Morelos shakes up Ford Attitude. He asks for a kick and leads by a length and a half down the center. Dream Knight tries to get to him, but still the leader is Ford Attitude. Dream Knight is second, 16th to go. Dream Knight two behind, Ford Attitude is clear close to home. Fort Attitude in front. Dream Knight is second, Grand Rock battled back for third, closer fourth, either Stealth 34 or Leah Party on 11 and four. Ready and one mile. And runners away. Amarula Sun was last to break. Good start out wide for Subtle Faith with Hidden Road alongside. Sent through it there inside for the thrills forwardly positioned. But Jaramillo's going to have Hidden Road on the lead here as they run out of the chute. For the thrill is second. Subtle Faith is sitting third. Amarula Sun is fourth, followed inside by Moon Tap. And from between, it's my first date. They have six furlongs to go. For the thrill, intent on getting to the top. She's there now. The quarter was 24 seconds flat. Hidden Road is second. The big favorite, Moon Tap, is at the rail in third. Looking to slide through, perhaps, Moon Tap. She has some room down inside. Then in between, horses, Subtle Faith, Amarula Sun on the outside, and with her ears up between, it's my first date. They go to the half-mile grounds. For the thrill has the lead. Moving on her is Hidden Road. Locked in the box is Moon Tap, third, outside, and my first date, fourth. That's all for Subtle Faith and her stable mate Amarula Sun drops to last. They round the far turn. Big time second quarter, 47 and two for a half mile speed. Hidden Road shakes for the thrill. Outside my first date from between horses, it's Moon Tap. Five sixteenths to go. Jaramillo trying to sneak an advantage on Hidden Road. He's doing a pretty effective job of it as she's given him a four length head start on Moon Tap, who's just not finding under pressure. Up to second is my first date. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Hidden Road has this to throw away. She's seven on top. My first date is second, Moon Tap is empty. Trying to catch her again is for the thrill, but at five to one, Hidden Road responds to the distance and class change with an authoritative maiden victory. It's Hidden Road in front, she won by seven. My first date was second, ooh, that's wicked close for third. Either Moon Tap or for the thrill in 140 flat. That's a wrap on the eight race Friday card. We'll be back with you on Saturday. And of course, it's Travers Day in Saratoga. So we'll have silks open for you. It'll be really busy. It's tacos and tequila day here at the track as well. And 10 races, including the fifth, the featured, the Eddie Broom honoring the late South Florida horseman who passed away last year, and it's a good one as well. Big and classy. Clashes with the skipper, too. A lot to look forward to. We hope to see you out here for the 10 race card. <laughs>